no sense of humor there. <laughs> So it is a uh, a nice day for the very very end of night of November. Yeah, November, because you know, gotta know what day it is. But uh, this might be the very last chance I get to uh, uh, rip around on the little mini motard. So I am heading uh, back over uh, to the little construction track and. Uh, just gonna rip around a little bit. I am not dressed appropriately. Um, I do not have leathers on. And uh, the general consensus is, is that this bike will slide out from underneath me if I do it wrong. So, in the interest of not wanting to do it wrong, uh, I'm just gonna take it easy. Yeah So I have my little uh, construction site work track here um, This isn't gonna be around for much longer, so I uh, Might as well make hay while the sun shines But uh, I'm going to do it kind of reverse. If you watch the, uh, the little video I put out uh, about the uh, Mini Motard making the rounds, uh, this is the site where I did that. As you can see, it's going to be homes and uh, and people who do not appreciate a little mini motard ripping through their neighborhood. So I am just going to be content uh, to get in some rounds while I can. Now, I'm kind of really liking this little bike. I mean, yeah, it's just a little 125, and it is tiny, but it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It really is. Uh, and that has, uh, that speaks to, that speaks volumes about how underappreciated small bikes are. I mean, yeah, everyone, you know, that, that uh, that rides thinks, oh yeah, I got to, um, you know, I'm at the pin the top of my game uh, when I'm riding a leader bike, or or I got the biggest bike that uh, that I can afford. When the truth of the matter is, is that you can have just as much fun on on a little bike like this. You just gotta find that little bit of riding that really kind of tweaks your interest you know whether it be you know putting you know having a bike that's got nerd knobbies on it and doing trail riding or you know or jumps or or something that's really easy to wheelie and going out and being a hooligan or something that's really fast and going out and doing triple jiggets on the freeway or if you're, you know, like into precision and you do track riding or, you know, or you like technical riding so you do mountain roads or do some canyon carving or, or all that type of business, you just got to find that one or two things that really kind of revs your engine and that really hooks you into riding. Now the beauty of it is, is that you do not need to have a super high-end bike to do that. 
I usually have the most fun on something that, that you know, hey, it might barely run, and yeah, it's not sparkly, and yeah, you don't see it uh, on the cover of a magazine next to a bikini glad model. But there is something to be said about a little bike just turning your screws enough and putting a smile on your face. And uh, that's what this little bike does. I mean, yeah, I'm just ripping her around a construction site and talking to myself. But I'll tell you what, I'm having a fun time. And it really beats the alternative of sitting at my house and thinking about doing this. So I'm not really riding hard, not really doing any downshifting. I've just got it in a spot where I can slow off the throttle and make my turn. And then roll back on the throttle, not accelerate hard in the straights. But, uh, but yeah, just, uh, just have a good old time. Let's beat feet out of here. I don't want to abuse this because what they'll do is they'll block this whole thing off and and uh, they'll have some jackal. Come and, come and tell me that, oh, they're going to call the cops. I, uh, I have a little ploy, and I'm hoping it works. Um, I'll know when the cops show up that it didn't work, but the ploy is, is that even if I'm ripping around the neighborhood, as long as I'm civil about it and uh, and wave. Now, if I did just the same thing that I'm doing right now, but I didn't wave or I gave a gesture that was, I mean, you know, less than civil, then uh, I'm sure that the local denizens uh, would surely call the call the cops and they'd be like yeah there's this little hooligan rolling around on this little motorcycle and he is raising all kinds of cane yeah i need you to come and, and clean this up quickish because you know sure is this yeah that someone is gonna call